Plugonal Hales here from Rauda. Today's band is from United States of America and not very well known, so this is very much like an underground release. Welcome to Amio's Resurrection from United States with a second album called Judgment. Now, this is a band that might ring a bell because of a negative plane, but if not, well, no reason to blame yourself. Um, this is one of those names that has pretty much gone under the radar so to speak. Here you have this um, rather new Digipack, been already out for a bit, but still very much 2020 release. And um, this is an interesting case because this is actually one of those releases which kind of turns out to be rather original or at least not so typical black metal. Now, make no mistake, this is not one of those Let's go back to a 1990s black metal style from Norway and Sweden and do the kind of a trademark stuff. Rather, this is kind of a demo-ish late, uh, late 80s, early 90s type of a Greek black metal sounding, at least a little bit. Very, very atmospheric and the word ghastly is properly used with this one. All in all, uh, this sounds kind of old-fashioned even because, you know, some of the riffs are also... Uh, not to mention the sound are uh, somewhat something that might be coming out from a totally different place than, you know, New York in United States of America, and not to mention those countries like Norway and Sweden. As you can see, this um, Digibag booklet, booklet <laughs> Digibag release with this nice booklet is pretty um, nice for a sore eyes, pair of sore eyes, and um, overall I get the nice feeling about it. There's something that really speaks to me visually and, you know, in overall feeling. Not your typical layout, but just something a little bit different. And that applies to music. Unfortunately, then again, it's not all good and glorious. Because this is kind of a, like, black metal that is probably very, very of marginal audience. Now, Judgment is here to do a lot of stuff with their riffs and, you know, melodies. But unfortunately, it's more like that kind of a filler thing. Now, I don't want to slander this band. I mean, it's pretty cool that they do something different. They are not your typical black metal band in so many ways. But in my opinion, they really don't get that stuff going. I mean, even though I had like, okay, this album is just going to start in any minute now. And then this 44 minutes later, I'm like, okay, let's give it another spin and another spin, and another spin, and nothing really sticks. I know it might be just me because, I, I mean, I'm very drift-driven personality. When I go, go for music, it doesn't matter if it's heavy metal, trash metal, black metal, death metal, doom metal, I go with the riffs. Now, you can pretty much go with somewhat, somewhat filler type of riffs when you have really strong, solid atmosphere. The kind of a soul-crushing atmosphere, which happens then again to... Uh, take place so often with soundtrack music and dark ambient music, also some of my favorite music. But then you really have to have this really thick, strong soundtrack and usually also a good production, especially when we're talking about those soul-crushing simple riffs which seem to go no place. You need to have that heaviness, which is kind of like oppressing you to, like, I don't know, crushing to the concrete. But this lacks, in fact, that. I mean, this is very much like those poorly executed demos back in the 80s and 90s when you really didn't have a studio budget. You really didn't have your uh, good equipment. So you just went whatever you, you had with. It's kind of a compromise. But at least you got going. I mean, think of like early Bathory. Kind of a crappy production. But it, it works, basically, because the songs are so goddamn good. You don't really need that strong... Um, production but when you have these kind of riffs what you really need is like okay at least the production really kills me but it doesn't happen here except it kills me kind of like out of boredom now i know this is definitely some people like hey jerry you just don't get it that might be true and i kind of hope i am totally wrong with it i i hope that you can appreciate and like this album way more than i do but for me judgment is a line of a big letdown very mediocre release in my opinion and as much as I tried, I really couldn't force myself to like it. It's not bad, but mediocre is the word I would use it for definitely. But anyway, obviously you decide for your own self, so check out the links, 
and I hope you like the music. What can else, what else can I say? Um, thank you for watching. Take care.